Alright, there's a feed from our workshop. 250 volts on a 200 amp breaker. Um, it's on a 100 amp main, so I can only draw roughly 100. Um, right now, I'm drawing about 80 amps. And it's going into my homemade volcano. How is it a volcano? Well, because there's lava. Um, right now I'm melting a bunch of rock salt, but eventually I can put in limestone and get it hotter and hotter. And uh, I started out by simply drawing an arc, um, and arcs are naturally hot enough to melt salt. And once the salt becomes molten, then it can become hotter and hotter, and it's just a kind of exponential feedback thing. So as more salt melts, the more currents I can draw through it to melt more salt. And uh, right now I'm using a bunch of chain and wire. Uh, <laughs> looks kind of like a volcano around here, um, but just as resistance so I don't flip my breaker. Um, I was doing a bunch of uh, yard work around here, so I figured eh, it wouldn't really matter if I burnt up some grass. Um, I guess the heat radiated off of all these wires are kind of impressive. Um, but I'm very careful about what I touch and uh, what my assistant touches, too. Again, I know exactly what I'm doing. I have a lot of experience doing this, so don't try this at home. It's extremely hot. And by the way, it releases chlorine gas, just like an ordinary volcano. So I don't really want to be breathing much. I guess 2,000 degrees at the moment. Maybe more. I don't know. All I know is I'll get a sunburn if I stay here too long. I'm trying to get it focused perfectly. Anyway, right now it looks uh, kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's a lot more viscous than honey. Okay. There's some plastic in there too that's burning. Um, I'm going to adjust it. It's drawing about 79 amps. And, I don't know, it's two cups of salt, something like that. Pour more than that and we dump the whole bag. Um, anyway, we have 80 pounds of salt back there, so uh, we'll eventually try to melt it all. We will uh, get back to you when it develops further. Pole. Pole breaker. My little volcano is approximately a foot and a half deep by a oh, foot and a half across. Where's your, do you have one of those infrared thermometer things? Mm, yeah, it would. <laughs> It wouldn't last long. Right, I just added about 30 pounds of rock salt. Um, it's still drawing about 80 amps at 250 volts. Actually, it's a little less because of the power draw. And, uh, yeah, my form of resistance, so I don't flip the breaker, is uh, catching fire again, which is fine. I did a bunch of yard work and raked it all out. It's fine. Um, but uh, this will convert pretty much anything into igneous rock um, simply by melting it down and chemically combining and changing everything. It breaks down more complex uh, molecules down into simpler molecules. Um, a process called plasma gasification can also occur here. Um, so it just breaks things down into its component atoms, uh, which could be useful for disposing of medical waste or other industrial wastes. You can also generate power that way, uh, even though I'm putting in a huge amount of power. But the ground is vibrating here, and I can just feel the heat <laughs> just from all these wires and, and chain. Um, eventually, I plan on investing in a transformer that I can use instead of this, but I think even it would overheat.
only drawing about 16 amps now. Homemade Volcano releases a lot of ultraviolet light. Light that is blocked by our ozone layer. Uh, probably releases primarily UVB, but it also releases UVA and C, which are very damaging. UVC is primarily good. Alright, we added more salt, uh, the rest of the 40 pound bag. Uh, another uh, 15 pounds. And uh, we have one bag left, and you can hear the uh, lava. You're always looking through the uh, welding mask. The frame rate was one four thousandth of a second for the video, and it's still bright as day. When it's bright.
8,000. No. The bricks molten too. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, uh, we just melted through the. Uh, don't, don't, not right now. All right, um, we finally stopped, and uh, it's been cooling down for a few minutes now. Oh, thanks. Yep. Oh, come on, it's gonna be on YouTube. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Well, it wasn't me. Um, <laughs> anyway, as you can see, it's really hot. Ow. Uh, yeah, don't touch that. Daddy. How close was your hand there? an idiot. Oh, I saw a video. <laughs> yeah, well, normally we're a lot safer, so. <laughs> Just ignore him. Hey, he has issues. Oh, well. Anyway, um, this is a whole bunch of molten salt, uh, molten dirt, molten metal, and, uh, yeah. So, tomorrow... Uh, or the day after, after it cools down, we will uh, dig it up and see what we've got.